I need to start this solar fountain video off with a disclaimer. Be aware if you make it, it could create chaos in your garden. The moment I put this out, the hummingbirds started fighting over it. Even the Orioles came in for it. They absolutely love it. You would say, well, wait a minute. You took away their other water fountain that you made. Nope, their feeders are up. Their water fountain's up. Everything is still here. They want this one. Why? So there's my new creation. I want to talk quiet because the hummingbirds are coming in. They're taking drinks. They're checking it out. This has been phenomenal. It is so easy to make. Literally, you can have this thing together in minutes. All you need is a solar fountain kit, a trash can or a bucket. You can find those anywhere. A plate that goes on the top, a 10 inch plate and a soda bottle. And come on, you must know somebody drinks soda even if you don't. Let's go in, I'll show you how to make it and then we'll come back and I'll explain why the hummingbirds and so many other birds love this fountain. And it's portable, you can move it. All. Well, let's, let's go in. Okay, this is how fast it is to make. All you need is a trash can. You can use a bucket if you want, but right now we're going to use a $1 trash can from the dollar store. And then you need a plate, and these plates are four for 77 cents at Walmart, but they also sell them four for a dollar at the dollar stores. They go on top. It's going to fit perfect. The whole thing will be contained. The next thing we need is a soda bottle. I'm going to go with the green one. You can use any color you want. And of course, a solar fountain. This is brand new. Let's take it out of the box and it's got all the parts to it. Some of them come with plastic film. We're gonna to wanna to take that off. If you don't take it off, the sunlight, it will dry up on there and it can cause problems with the solar panel. In here, the only part we're gonna need that I'm gonna use is this part. This is just doodads to make the spray and we're not spraying with that. Okay, so now we need, we're gonna need a hose. Now you can use a hose and let's see, we have different types of straws. If you use a really small straw like that, it might shoot the water too much. I would go with a bigger straw. And then this one, this one actually would work. So you could use a straw like this. You can buy these at a lot of times any store. But I prefer to go to a tropical fish store, a pet store, and just get some tubing. I'll put the link below where I get mine. I order from a place in LA. This fits perfect. It's a good tubing. And I do have videos that if, because some of these are different, if it doesn't fit, there's ways of making this bigger and there's also ways of making it smaller if it's too loose. So check out the other videos on that if you have an issue. But I put the dimensions on the ones that I'm using here. So this is gonna be this one and we're gonna put the straw aside. Now the first thing we're gonna need to do is cut out a circle on the plate. So I turn my plate upside down and I make a circle. Now remember, you're not gonna want it too, too big, but don't worry if you do. And find the center as the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now what I like to do is start looking where the center is and start making holes. Do it this way so it's easier. Now you can just take a scissors and cut it out if you want. That will work too, but I have found this to be a little easier to get it started with a soldering iron. And then you'll kind of know where to cut. And then if you have to, you can go back and cut it and make it bigger. This is so easy and so fast to make. Then we're going to come back afterwards and make more holes. You'll see. Right now, I just want to get the bottle done. Okay, so next thing I need is some sort of scissors. I'll start with the small scissors and just start cutting. And if you feel more comfortable to use a bigger scissors, you can use a bigger scissors. But we need to get that center cut out so the bottle can pop through. And this is why it's so much easier once you do their holes. Now what we need is a nice size hole that the bottle will go through. And let's see if it fits, if it works. The bottle's gonna go in here. And then we're gonna put the plate on top. See, it needs to be a little bit bigger, so we're gonna to have to make this bigger. So you work out that until you get the right size. And if you make it a little bit too big, don't worry about it, that's perfectly fine. Okay, that works. Now, the next thing we need to do is make a lot of holes in your plate, because we wanna make sure 
that that water is going to keep going back into the bucket. You make as many holes as you can. Because if you don't have enough, it will overflow. You can always go back and make more holes. And that should be enough for now. If you feel it's sharp, now this is just a plastic plate. Whatever you do, don't get melamine. You can't cut it. You can always go around with your soldering iron and that will make it so it will be smooth and not sharp. The other thing we need to do is we need to make a notch. We're going to make a notch for the wire. So you figure out where your back is. You just notch out a piece so this way the plate will sit nice and flat. Okay, so that's, that's all you need is that notch like that. So now we got the plate. Now we need to make a hole in the bottle. So being that this is here, it doesn't matter, nobody's going to see it. We'll go ahead and make the hole back here. And this is for your solar fountain. Because you've got to get the pump inside the bottle. And you can cut this as well once you get it started. Sometimes it's quicker just to cut it. it just has to go inside on the top we need a hole that the pipe can go through so very carefully start making your hole just want to make sure it goes through oh yeah now one other thing we're going to do before we unplug our soldering iron it's going to make lots of scratch marks on the top it won't seem like a big deal to you, but let me tell you something. The hummingbirds have tiny, tiny little nails, and that is going to be their perch. So you can make zigzag lines very carefully. Don't burn yourself. Just make all kinds of lines and dots, and this gives them the place to grip. Otherwise, it's too smooth, and they'll slip off. And you can make a hole, if you want, afterwards and stick a perch through. So if you want to add a perch, all you have to do is go outside, find a little tree limb, make a hole, and string it through. I've done that on some of my cups. Today we're just going to put this together, one, two, three. We're making this for hummingbirds. Okay. Now what we have to do is bring our pipe through. I'm going to bring it all the way down inside. And we're going to attach the pipe. Let's see this. Make sure you got the right side. Yep, that goes there. And this should fit. This size fits really, really well. And now we're just going to cut to top. We are done. This is going to go here. This is just going to get cut. Now you can fill this up with rocks if you want to weight it down. The water will hold it. I fill these trash cans up about halfway full. And now we're just going to cut it. Now you can cut it now or you can cut it when you put it outside. Just try to cut it as straight as possible. You can always go back, cut off a little more. We're done. We are absolutely done and ready to put this outside. Now this whole unit took us minutes to make and we can paint it if you want. You know what? You could make a sticker. You could do your own artwork. You can print up artwork. Then if you've got a laminator or if you're just going to buy a sticker, you could put a sticker on right on the front. Kind of to give it that little jazzed up look. Jeez, maybe I should have put on, uh, maybe next time. So now we have two, yes. Well, there they are, they're portable. I'm gonna move one to my bird garden, Kitty knows that. And the other one I'll leave up here on the deck. This has been so fun, they're so easy to make, so inexpensive, the birds love them. And let me tell you why they love them. The hummingbirds can easily grip on the top of the bottles. 
they can stand on, look at that, they can stand on one side and take a bath as they want. Then you've got the tray that's on the top with the holes running into the trash can. You can have birds that sit on top of the tray and splash and take a bath. Nobody's getting inside. It's so self-contained, you just lift it up with the solar panel, move it where you want to put it, and then it's easy to clean as well. So this is why the birds love it. You can decorate the containers as you want or get small buckets. And here I put the perch in, put a hole there, and just put in a piece of twig for maybe a small house finch or something to land on. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make this. This has been so fun. I'm going to be making a lot of these and putting them all over. You won't have leaves or feathers or anything getting in there. Anything gets on top, you can just pick it up, toss it out. So with that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow and make a hummingbird bird bath for all the birds too.